Hey, what's up YouTube? Australian Prison Stories here. Guys, today's video is going to be about the best fights uh, that I saw in prison. And um, before I get into this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe, notification bell, comment, share, all the good stuff. Okay, now... Like I said, uh, today's video is going to be about the best fight that I saw in prison. And what I'm going to do is, because, um, you know, I've seen uh, a few fights, you know, a few good fights. And um, so I'll be telling you, you know, about those um, about those fights in, um, you know, upcoming videos as well. And um, the, the most, like, the deadliest full-on fight that I've seen in prison... Um, happened in Long Bay Correctional Centre, deadly Long Bay Correctional Centre. You know, you would think it would be Goulburn, which was called the Killing Fields, but you know, it, occasionally you have fist fights in Goulburn, but it was more, you know, uh, shanks. You know, uh, it, it was more so guys fighting with shanks. You know what I mean? Not so much using the hands. And um, this this one particular occasion um, that you know that I've seen like the most fiercest fight that I've ever seen in prison and uh, you know I was I was like fairly young myself you know what I mean I was only I think about 22 23 at that stage uh, and you know I I you know I've already got a few sentences under my belt. And this was like around about late 2003, early 2004, okay, and this was uh, in 12 wing, this was a wing called 12 wing, and uh, now this fight that I saw right now, it was between a convict and an inmate, now you know, and what I mean by a convict and an inmate, right, you see, a convict, that's what I am, I'm a convict, right, and, and you see, the difference between a convict and an inmate, uh, convicts uh, carry themselves, you know, carry themselves with respect, uh, you know, they don't tolerate disrespect, you know what I mean, they're, they're old school, they've done a lot of prison time, um, you know, a lot of them are institutionalised, like myself, um, and, you know, with the convicts, you don't see a, a, a lot of the BS, you know what I mean, that inmates carry on with, you know, because inmates, you know, that's, you know, bloody, uh, always in, in, in bloody trouble, always causing trouble, you know what I mean, um, you know, they're, they're trying to make a, always trying to make a name for himself, you know what I mean, and always getting himself into trouble, getting into drug debts and shit like that, um, and you won't see that, you know what I mean, with a convict. And uh, so this this uh, one particular day, you know, um, it was between a convict and an inmate, and you know the convict. Uh, I'm not gonna you know put their names out there. You guys know I don't do that. I'm just gonna call them you know convict and inmate. And um, the oh the convict was an older dude. You know he was maybe in his mid fifties, and the inmate you know was was a lot younger than him. Uh, and he was maybe about, you know, 25 in his late 20s, early 30s, right? And you see, what happened was, you know, they were they were playing a card game. They were playing this card game called 41, right? Now, 41, for anyone that's done a lot of prison time, you know what I mean, um, in here in Sydney, Australia, or, you know, been in, in the prison... You know, they'll know that 41 is the most popular card game, okay? So, they were playing this buddy card game, and the the convict noticed that this younger inmate was bloody was bloody cheating, right? He was bloody cheating, um, and he got caught out on it, right? This convict caught him out on it. And, you know, and he's gone... When he's caught him out on it, the inmate... You know what I mean? He's turned around and point blank disrespected him, uh, and you know, and 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 what started the fight, right? Not only that he disrespected him, but he called him a bitch, right? And they're fighting words. You can't call someone a bitch in prison. 
You know what I mean? Um, period. Especially a bloody convict. Because, you know, he's not going to tolerate that shit. You know what I mean? And and he's gone right. You know what I mean? Me and you, let's go right now. You know, and this bloody inmate started laughing, right? Because he's thinking, to, he's probably thinking to himself, you know, this boy he was laughing, oh, you know. You know, look at this old man calling me out. Like, you know, I'm going to disarray this old man. Um, but, you know what I mean? It was, it was a fucking full-on fight. And, and you see, they, 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 they fucking started shaping up, right? And then the fucking convict, he threw the first punch, right? And they're dead set into it, right? And I'll give it to, I'll give it to the younger dude. He was fucking holding his own, but he was getting fucking demolished. You know what I mean? And this fight, dead set went on for maybe like five minutes. You know what I mean? Not only it was the fiercest fight that I've seen, um, and you know, it was the most, you know, it seemed like the longest fight that I've seen. You know what I mean? Because now this, this older convict, right? He has been in and out of prison, in and out of prison. You know what I mean? Since he was a young fella, you know what I mean? And he was like coming to prison, you know, back in like, you know, bloody, um, the, the bloody late 80s, uh, late fucking 70s, you know what I mean, when it was really rough back then. Um, and, and he had hands on him, you know what I mean? This convict had some hands on him, you know what I mean? And, and he knew how to use his hands. And, you know, this, this younger inmate, he was, he was okay with his hand, but he wasn't the best, you know what I mean? And, and so they're into it, right? And, and they're smashing each other, right? And, like, you know, the bloody convict broke the inmate's nose and you could see fucking his nose go from fucking, you know, from from the middle to the side of his fucking face, like, and you know, it totally smashed it and blood everywhere, you know what I mean? And then, like, fucking his eye, the inmate's eye started fucking swelling up and started to close up, you know what I mean? And, and like, the, the blood, like, I remember the blood, the blood was everywhere, and fucking these dudes, right, are dead set into it. And you see, and one thing too, when there's a fight going on, right, you know, um, the only people that you will see standing around watching that fucking fight are the inmates. You know, us convicts, we won't do that. You know, we'll just carry on going about our fucking everyday business, right? So, you know, and fucking they're into it, right, throwing hands, boom, 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 boom. You know, they're, they're just smashing each other, you know, and, and their faces are covered in blood. Their faces are covered in bar and, and all in I mean, I don't know how they could see, you know, because their faces were covered in fucking blood, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, the fucking the guards up in the tower, right, was fucking yelling out, get down, get down, you know what I mean? And stop, stop fighting, get down, get down. And they're still fucking going, right? They're still fighting. And then, like, and then and then all of a sudden, the, the convict, right, grabbed the fucking inmate, right, and grabbed him and, and smashed, like, had him in the headlock, right, and smashed his fucking head, smashed his head against the brick wall. You know what I mean? It was dead set crazy. And as soon as he smashed his fucking head against the brick wall, you know what I mean? He fucking split his head open and there was blood everywhere, you know, because... In the yards, right, in the yards in fucking, in, in Long Bay Correctional Centre, right, now, there is concrete, like, you know, all that's in this yard is concrete, you've got fucking concrete, you've got this brick wall, you know, and you've got this wire fence with a fucking razor wire on top of it, you know what I mean, and, and then you've got the fucking walkway up top of the wall where the fucking guard walks up and down, you know, he walks up and down there with his gun, and, um, as soon as he's fucking like smashed his fucking head into the fucking wall, right? I mean, and, and you see, um, we found out later on the reason why he did that. He was just like gonna fucking just like stop fighting and get down, like we all did. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you get fucking shot. But you know, he 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 ended up saying something that was really really disrespectful, even more so than than fucking calling him a bitch. You know, I think he fucking. We said something like, um, you old dog, you know, you old dog fucking, 
you know what I mean, you got what you deserve or something like that, and you know, and that's when he grabbed him in the fucking headlock, you know what I mean, and then fucking smashed his head against the wall, and blood everywhere, you know, and then fucking that knocked him clean out, you know what I mean, knocked his inmate fucking clean out, and he was on the fucking ground, he fucking KO'd, right, on the ground, and, and because he's like fucking, his head split open, his face is all smashed, you know, from getting in this fucking fierce fight, he started to have a fucking seizure, right? He started to have a seizure, you know what I mean? And he's fucking, and he's like starting, his whole body's fucking shaking, and he's having this fucking massive seizure, you know what I mean? And, and like, and, I, and, and then like, because I'm looking from the corner of my eye, and I'm thinking to myself, fuck, this cunt's gonna die, you know what I mean? Look at him, he's fucking over there having a seizure, he's fucking, he's gone ski, you know what I mean? And then they come fucking running in, you know, the goon squads come fucking running in. You know, and they've jumped on fucking old mate, you know, the convict, you know what I mean, and fucking cuffed him up, you know, scooped him up and fucking took him off to fucking Segro, you know what I mean, which is segregation, you know, or, or the hole, um, you know, and they, and they fucking took him there, down there and, um, you know, fucking get him cleaned up and shit like that, and, um, you know, the medical, you know, but the nurses and all that shit's come running in and they're tending to the fucking, this, this young inmate that's having a seizure, you know what I mean, and they're trying to fucking stop the bleeding from, you know, coming out like his head was split open and I was trying to stop the bleeding, you know what I mean, and so they fucking, they've, they've finally fucking stemmed the fucking bleeding, stopped the bleeding, he wrapped his fucking head up, you know, bandages and shit, and then, you know, fucking ended up like he's, he was like, you know, stopped having a seizure and, you know, because they got there just in time. And they put him on the fucking stretcher, put him on the stretcher, took him out, right? Took him out on the fucking stretcher. And you know something? That young inmate was never, ever the same after that because he had severe brain damage, right? He had severe fucking brain damage and poor fucking old mate, the, the, the fucking convict, Right, he ended up getting fucking charged, right? He got an outside charge for that, you know what I mean? And, and like, they was trying to give him attempt at murder charge, but that didn't wash, you know what I mean? Um, even the DPP, which stands for Department of you know, Public Prosecutions, they weren't going for that shit either, you know what I mean? And so, what he ended up getting charged with, right? Aggravated assault, occasioning actual bodily harm, right? And on top of his... Uh, on top of his fucking 12 year sentence that he was doing, you know what I mean? He ended up, he ended up getting another five years on top of these 12 years, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that was that's so crazy. And this fucking, and this disrespectful fucking young inmate, you know, and um, he was only doing like fucking three years, four years or something. And because he was trying to big note himself and disrespected this fucking old convict. He's now paying that price for the rest of his life. You know what I mean? And so, you know, this is what this is what I say to people. Like, you know, like I tell people all the time: make smart choices. Don't use drugs, and you won't. If you don't start using drugs, you won't have to worry about going to prison. You know what I mean? And if you fucking God forbid do end up going to prison, one thing you cannot do: you cannot disrespect anyone. You cannot call anyone a bitch. You know, and especially a dog. You know what I mean? Because that means you're calling them a snitch. And you, you, that's they're going to get disragged and you're going to get hurt. A lot of guys don't stand for that shit. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it was dead set crazy. That was the most full-on, fiercest fight that I've fucking seen in prison, you know. And I remember it vividly, like it was yesterday, you know. So, yeah, guys, um, that was the uh, one of the deadliest prisons, prison fight that I've seen, you know. And fucking deadly Long Bay Prison. And uh, the next one, you know, I'll do another video about, you know, this other fucking fierce fight that I've seen. And because um, I put out a poll and, you know, people wanted to see this one over, you know, what happened when he come in on heroin. But I'm going to do that one, you know, let you guys know the procedure and what happens when you go to prison and when you're addicted to heroin. Um, so that'll be coming soon. Okay, guys. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, in the event that you did, please give it a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share and comment, all that good stuff. Remember, make smart choices, okay, because that's what it comes down to. Make smart choices. Um, and thank you for all the love and support you've given me.
given me and my channel. It means a lot. Take care, stay safe. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now, fam.